A builder has found a way to beat the housing slump. John Libertini shows us a new development in Sacramento that features some very green homes. In a sea of new home construction, one housing development stands out. For every one dollar that you can save annually, it adds twenty dollars in value to your house. Fallen Leaf at River Bend is selling solar power, and people are buying, even in a down real estate market. Here, you get a tankless water heater instead of an old power guzzling tube. What it does is it heats water on demand. As the water passes through a coil, it will do it at 6.9 gallons per minute, which is enough to run three showers and a dishwasher at the same time. Each home is fitted with a two kilowatt solar power system, and what isn't used is sold to the local utility company. Inside, air conditioning vents are moved to the middle of rooms for better efficiency, and the zero energy designation is good for a $2,000 tax credit. With a solar-powered home, you get two meters. One records the electricity being used, while the other keeps track of the solar power being generated. Some homeowners have generated so much solar, their electricity bills have been less than $10 a month. Earlier this month, when the valley baked in triple-digit heat, residents here stayed cool without worry. Pete Desmond moved in April 1st, and the savings is no joke. The bill I just got, we've had the air conditioner running constantly, and uh, it was $34. <laughs> so that's it. But going green is about more than solar. In these homes, toilets have two buttons. You can half flush or full flush. And with energy efficient windows, homeowners can save as much as $200 a month in electricity costs. The glass will help to keep out, uh, it radiates heat back away from the house and then helps keep out harmful rays that would bleach out furniture on the inside. Size varies from 1,000 square feet to almost 2,300, and the cost of going green here is $295 to $399,000. In Sacramento, John Lobertini, CBS 5. A tribute to a music legend.